Yo, what's good? A lot of you have asked me how to warm up to dunk. Uh, luckily, I got my man Mike here to help me out. But uh, basically, empty gym uh, completely. So it's hard to get warm. Usually, I like to play a pickup game. A lot of people like to play like one on one. But for me, new habit is dribbling drills because that lateral movement is really great for warming up. And also, my handles suck. And uh, so that helps. Uh, but other than that, just a lot of leg kicks. And then I gradually build up to jumping. So you want to, with leg kicks, you want to hit all the different muscles side to side. I'll show you all the different examples. But the goal is to get the blood flowing in all the different areas so that we, all your muscles are loose and warm. And then also just gradually build up to jump. So I'll do some baby jumps, touching the backboard, gradually building up to that max explosion. Make sure you have a good, solid warm up so I can explode. Mike, you got anything else? Yeah, so I do like a similar warm up. I'll do some light jumps towards like the very end as well but um, a lot of mine is like hip opening stuff, so a lot of kicking out to the side, on my knees, bringing my hip up, and then a lot of dynamic stuff in between, so like skips, um, I'll do some like leg kicks in front, uh, and I'll, a bunch of stuff like that. So this is, gonna, this is a heart rate monitor, so I'll show you guys my starting right now, and then I'll show you it after the warm up. So like right now, my heart rate's at about 98. Now, to know that I'm fully warmed up, this should, be, this should get to about 130, 140, and I should be uh, breaking a sweat, so Damn, I'll look at yours too. Yeah. Steven's starting at 70. Pretty low. What? So we'll check you after. What? So so what were you at? Action. I was at 98 already. Really? Uh, right, yeah. Damn. I'll go again. Here. So is that good or bad? I just had so much caffeine. How's that real? <laughs> Yeah, 67, 65. All right, so this is probably more realistic. But we're both starting in the lows, yeah. low 60s. We'll see where we get after more. Athletes. Some resistance to the outside of your hips. It's gonna help warm up your glutes, glutes, glutes. <laughs> and then I'll do some leg raises this way to warm up the hip flexors. Just going out to the side, maybe like 10, 20 steps. Back with it. Walk forward. So just working different angles of your hips. Gotcha. To get loose. Try to keep like a percentage in your head. So if you have a, like that was like maybe like 10%, try to just gradually go up 15%, 20% and go based on your body. As I break more of a sweat, if I'm feeling it and everything feels loose, I still don't want to push it from like 40% to 100%. Make those gradual jumps so that way, mm. keep it good. That's key, he says. Okay, right now, hold on, hold on. I'm not really that sweaty yet. Just about breaking a sweat. I'm gonna guess like 110. Let's see, 113, 112. Damn. Yeah, right there. Really close. Good. And then once I'm fully warm and loose, I'll go for those max jumps. Let's go. Try not to like flex your your core and your hips. Try to stay up right here and then pull it out and go up, swing it out. So like I'm focusing all like right here and right here to pull out. Gotcha. Up here, out. So yeah, we might be skipping a little bit, but. Um, for us, hanging on the rim is not that hard. 35, 40%, getting super detailed, but uh. The thing is, I don't miss. And that's the crazy part. I swear that was first try. Dead, bro. You just played one on one. Woo, I'm dead. 
but uh, I'm gonna try some jumps now. Probably film on my phone. Let's go. Let's go, I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know what else other videos you wanna see. If you wanna see me dunk in a better day, dunk in this Sunday, stay tuned, I should be flying. If you wanna know more about Yaloi, uh, check out my podcast and also check out my website, stephenselling.com. Thank you, I had a great time making the video for you.